Um, I'd, I'd like to return to the question in a minute about what this president or the next president should do. Still stuck a little bit on the line of inquiry about who the next president is going to be. And you said there, you, you do have a lot of candidates in your party um, already, um, and it's been a really cacophonous race. You've been careful to say you won't endorse yet. Um, but will you support Donald Trump if he's the nominee in the end? Um, I, I will support the Republican nominee. I don't think that's going to be Donald Trump. Why not? <laughs> um, my, my party has, has historically uh, 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 nominated someone who's a mainstream conservative and, uh, and, and someone who has a foundation in foreign policy that gives people confidence that they can uh, guide the ship of state in troubled waters. Um, uh, Mr. Trump, over the, the weekend, I think on 60 Minutes, said that uh, he thought it would be a good idea to let ISIS take over Syria and then we could pick up the pieces. And I thought that was both absurd and, and dangerous. And I, I, I just don't think that that's, that kind of uh, proposal is likely to lead him to become our nominee. You say that the, the process results in the nomination of a mainstream conservative, but are you concerned? I mean, the sort of conventional assessment is that the process actually may produce a mainstream conservative, but it, that person does not look like a mainstream conservative anymore by the time they've succeeded in the primaries because they've been so, pulled so far to the right. Um, do, you, do you agree that that's the dynamic that any candidate in this race is facing now? Uh, you know, that's been uh, ascribed to the candidates in both parties, both political processes. Um, I, I look at some of the mainstream conservatives running, um, Chris Christie, John Kasich, Marco Rubio, uh, Jeb Bush, Lindsey Graham. Carly Fiorina may well fit in that uh, category as she uh, elucidates more on her policy positions. and and. Uh, you know, I, I think uh, each of them has staked out uh, territory, which is not uh, extreme, and and uh, and so I don't think I'd, uh, you know, I'd conclude that that it's impossible for a Republican to to uh, to be able to win the general election. As a matter of fact, I think we will win the general election, um, in part because we have such strong and capable people as the ones I've mentioned. Is there any chance you may still get in? <laughs> no, I, I, made, I made the decision. the decision. No, no. <laughs> All right, let me shift this to, 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 to foreign policy.